The most common cause of atlantoaxial instability is abnormalities in the bones, which usually occur due to vertebral fractures or bone tumors in the atlas or axis. Pathological changes in the transverse ligament also can cause atlantoaxial instability. Often this occurs in people with rheumatoid arthritis, due to inflammation in the ligament. Atlantoaxial instability can occur in people with Down syndrome due to abnormal protein in the connective tissue that causes a lack of tension in the transverse ligament. Neck trauma also can cause the development of atlantoaxial instability, even when no fracture occurs. In some cases, congenital scoliosis can cause unstable movement between the first and second cervical vertebrae. Steroid injections into the neck may result in pathological changes in the first or second cervical vertebrae which can lead to atlantoaxial instability.